Hi guys, Belinda here. Welcome back. I've laid down some pearl, which is what I have made up with white and pearl um, that I have. So I'm just going to give this. Oh, that's um, that's a, a really really big flame. <laughs> Hopefully, I can gently torch it. Wow! I remember my other can, my previous canister. As soon as it was um, had a full one on, it used to do the same. Just until it actually gets a, a little little less gas in the can and then it will stop doing that. A bit scary when it happens <laughs> because you don't expect it I suppose. Okay so as I was saying <coughs> so this one I think is a I'll just check that. I think it's a 12 by 24 inch, and I'm pretty sure I've I did measure it earlier. Yeah, 12 by 24 inch. So I have a number of different colors here. I thought, I'm not too sure which colors I really, really want to use. Um, so let's go in with some magenta. Oh, it clearly didn't want to <laughs> come out. use some yellow so this is called um, deep yellow uh, guys if you would like to go and check out my description box um, since uh, I think it was oh, it was early early last year I put up a link to my Artaholic apron and it's a very 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 good quality apron let's put a little bit of brown there because this brown now I've learned is very very strong takes over get rid of the hair And this one here is called Yellow Green. And I have put a tiny, tiny little bit of My House Paint Satin Enamel. I know it also it seems like it's um, all autumn shades. And I know that most of you guys watching are going into spring and we here in New Zealand are going into autumn so I will put up some autumn colors so this is my mustard that I made up it's quite a nice color and then to it I'm going to add some red give it some brightness looks like a lot of paint right probably is so I'm still getting the hang of um, how much paint to use. Sometimes I use too little and sometimes I use too much. Get 
don't know what that is. Little doodads. Okay. So I'm going to start, I'm going to blow from there and work my way down here because when you look at a flower for example or flowers that one doesn't pop out first does it? like this although you know me and my numbers I only have six petals get rid of that I need another petal and I want to blow that out a bit more so I'm going to add some here um, a teeny bit of brown that brown is extremely it's actually like to me that brown some colors I find are what I call flat colors. So when I say flat, <coughs> what I actually mean is um, they don't really, if you have a look at this here, this area here, it's kind of flat. It just is flat and stays like that really. So I'm going to blow this both sides, put a little bit more red on that side there. I also want to try and blow some of that out a bit. So I want to blow some of this and um, that's not too bad we'll just get rid of some of that there I have seven leaves Here. 
Um, oh, my hair going to the paint again. And I just want to blow some of this. I'm not still not liking that a hundred percent. Much better. That's better, because you see what I meant about that brown being a flat colour. So I'm going to have to come around because I want to blow some of that out there. You just blow some of this here. Now there is no silicone in my paints. Um, am I going to reach there? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it was a little bit ambitious, thinking I could reach from the other side. So. Hmm. I'm thinking to use the the little blower, but Give this a teeny torch just because I need something to pop up over here and maybe some color come to come out there and then I'll bring you in for a close-up Just here and there. Oh, that's looking gorgeous. Oh, yeah. <coughs> this is very, very pretty. Get some there with that flat brown. So here it is, um, I really really love these cells that have popped up, um, the brown is not too bad, it's not too strong that's what I should say. The colours have come out really great. And I'm loving that mustard. I really, really love these colors. And there. Uh, 
I love this here. It looks really, really nice. And if you can see all of the, the cells in there. Well, guys, if you're interested in any of my artwork to purchase, um, you can email me on withbade at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram, which is artist.bade. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.